Hi mga sis. I'm so sorry talaga if medyo hindi ako nag-upload ng video sa YouTube. It's because napaka-busy ko talaga with regards sa aking pag-aaral. Pag-aaral, considering na third-year college at mer meron kami pieces or research papers. So, I need to prioritize my ACADs first. And I know everything will follow or everything will run smoothly. So, ang ginagawa... Ang ginagawa ko halos once a week lang ako nag-upload ng videos. Eh, kasi nga, I'm so busy with my academic performance or I'm so busy with my ACADs. Vlog is life, but ACADs is life first. So, these things that, I, that I'm doing right now, preparation siya yes, sa future. So, dapat ko talaga siyang i-prioritize. Pero I also love vlogging naman. It's just that I know what are those things that needs to be prioritized and what are those things that should be set aside. So yeah, that's it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's episode of our video, I will be answering one of the frequently asked questions in my channel regarding the effects effects daw or may mga transgenders na nagtatanong sa akin regarding this question and that question is maganda ba ang finokinon F injection sa pagbabawas ng timbang or pagpapapayat? Now, a very important disclaimer, I am not a doctor. I'm not a person working in the field of medicine and these ideas that I will be sharing to you guys it's basically based on the experiences that I have while using this product ito nga yung Pinokinon F injection so yun nga Pinokinon F injection napaka famous ng product na yan most especially sa mga transpenize sa ating transpenize sa ating bansa since marami mga reasons kung bakit gumagamit sila ng Pinokinon F injection and in my case I'm using Pinokinon F injection since in my case, pakiramdam ko effective talaga siya sa akin. It's a case-to-case -case basis. Aside from that, I also like the fact na budget-friendly siya. For a student like, for a student transgender like me, who is transitioning at the same time pursuing her, her, her dreams, then Pinakinon F injection is definitely the best fit for me. So yun nga, medyo matagal-tagal na akong gumamit ng Pinakinon F injection and I must say na meron ako mga good experiences at the same time, meron din ako mga bad experiences upon, upon using Pinokinon F injection. What, what I like about Pinokinon F injection is the fact that it is an injectable hormone. Although walang, wala talagang studies na makapag-prove na effective talaga yung mga injectable hormones compared dun sa mga oral hormones. Pero pakiramdam ko, mas, magan, mas nagagan If I were to choose, I'll go for injectable hormones since para sa akin, napaka-easing i-administer kapag nilagay mo na sa iyong katawan, there's no need for you to worry or to think of taking or using it. Unlike, nung, unlike doon sa mga oral pills na there is a possibility or tendency na makalimutan mo since you will be taking them every day samantalang yung mga injectable hormones maaari mo siyang inject once a week or merong merong interval and days of inter interval of days sa pag inject so yun 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 ang ilan sa mga reasons kung bakit since then i'm a fan of injectable hormones talaga regarding the question maganda ba ang pinokinan f injection sa pagpapapayat for me personally I don't think so na effective ang Pinokinon F injection. Para sa akin, opposite yung nangyari based sa aking experience. Meron kasi akong nabasa or meron akong nabasa sa comment section mga transgenders na nagko-comment na since ang Pinokinon F injection meron siyang progesterone. So, uh, for the Pinokinon F injection, meron siyang two chemicals or two products or I mean, meron siyang two chemical make two chemical makeup. So, first we have the progesterone and second we have the estradiol benzoate estradiol benzoate at mas may marami yung progesterone which is 50 mg at yung estradiol benzoate 5 mg my some transgender na nag-comment i'm not really sure if reliable ba siya pero sinabi niya sa comment na yun sinabi niya na yung progesterone mainly responsible siya kung bakit we increase ang cravings or appetite na mga taong gumagamit. Kaya ang nangyayari is kapag gumagamit ka ng progesterone, there is a possibility or great tendency na palagi ka lang kumakain since pinapataas niya yung appetite level or yung cravings mo is pinapataas niya 
yun daw ang isa sa mga effects ng progesterone. That way, kapag nagkikrave ka, so kumakain ka ng marami. And ang, nangy ang nangyayari is unti-unting naragdagan ang iyong timbang. Therefore, I must say na I'm not really convinced or I cannot really say na ang Pinokinan F injection is effective siya sa pagbabawas ng timbang. Because of the idea na nagka-contain siya ng progesterone at according doon sa transgender na nag-comment sa aking channel, yung progesterone daw is nakaka-trigger ng cravings or pinapa-increase ng appetite level. That way, mas kumakain ka ng marami at hindi siya nakakutulong upang makabawa sa yung timbangan. For me, personally, ang ginagawa ko is marami kasi mga transgenders na nagtatanong sa akin kung ano yung mga ginagawa ko, kung bakit ako, kung bakit dumiit ako ng gusto, or kung paano ako nagbawas ng timbang effectively. Hindi pinokinon F injection ang reason kung bakit na lose kong aking timbang drastically. Ang ginawa ko is, I'm, el I'm into healthy diet. Sinasabayan ko rin siya ng workout. Walang kinalaman ang paggamit ko ng Pinokinan F injection sa pag-lose ng aking timbang. In other words, there is no correlation between losing weight and using Pinokinan F injection as part of, of your hormone replacement therapy. So, kung gusto mo talagang magbawas ng timbang, you need to do, or you need to consider two things. So, first, you have to engage yourself in workout exercises. Second, we have second you need to be conscious or you need to be extra careful or extra careful with the diet sa mga pagkain kinakain mo since ito talaga yung mga factors kung bakit nagiging effective ang tao sa pagbabawas ng timbang. Una is yung workouts, pagiging active, achieving a, a, achieving an active lifestyle and avoiding sedentary lifestyle. And second is yung with regards sa ating diet or sa mga pagkain kinakain natin. So, yung paggamit ng Pinokinon F injection, for me, I think it's not wala siyang kinalaman sa pag lose ko ng aking timbang. Instead, pakiramdam ko ang paggamit ko ng, noong gumagamit ako ng Pinokinon F injection na hindi ko sinasabayan ng proper workout and exercises and also proper diet, feeling ko mas tumataba ako ng husto since Yung progesterone, and yung pinakinan F injection, I'm not really sure if effect, effect, effect to ba niya, pero naantok ako that way, palagi akong natutulog. And para sa akin, yung palagi, palagi kang natutulog is nakahadagdag siya sa yung timbang at yung also increased appetite or craving. So, I think that you, that would be all guys. Nasagot ko na ang question nyo regarding sa tanong na, Effective ba ang Pinokinon F injection sa pagpapayat? And in my experiences, in my experiences, I cannot really say na effective ang Pinokinon F injection. Again and again, kung gusto mo talaga magbawas ng timbang, you need to be mindful about sa diet, sa pagkaang kinakain mo. And also, you need to engage yourself in active or in physical activities such as workout, exercises, or simply doing household, household chores. It will do a lot or it, it will contribute para sa success ng pagbabawas mo ng timbang. So I think that would be all guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all and see you in my next video. Bye!